Oh, unfortunately, we've got another My Comic Shop nightmare situation here. I mean, it's not really a big deal. These are modern, brand new books. But once again, this is their packaging. This is not a UPS issue. So if you recall my last video where I'd gotten in a couple of Mark Jeweler books that had been apparently reboxed by UPS after they had been damaged at their facility or whatever. And my comic shop promised they did not send it in the type of box that UPS ended up delivering it to me in. So okay, all's forgiven, they gave me a refund, whatever, we moved on. But now I'm getting a few copies of Ant-Man number one, which I ordered from my comic shop. I'm giving them another chance, right? And this is how they packaged it. I started opening this before I realized it was from my comic shop. This is it. It was in... I thought this was somebody mispackaging a slab when I first got it because it's about the size of a slab. But when I open it, there's... You can already see how this has been bent during shipping and how this box was beat up. This is not how you send raw books. This is... See how it can just slide around in here? There's no... Not, there's a tape on the books, but there's nothing holding the bundle in place. And uh, once again, this is just ridiculous. So, yeah, look at this. I already cut this end off here, so it didn't come that way. And here we go. My comic shop. Right? Um... Four copies of Ant-Man number one. Well, here they are. Look, they're a banana. You can see that right there. I'm not holding it. You can kind of see that subtle bend right in the middle of the books. Now, maybe it didn't hurt the books. Now, I would be amazed with this little, with this box damage, with this minimalist amount of packing care, this non-care attitude on how they ship books to people. I'm going to be amazed if these books are not damaged. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a look and... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pull out a couple of the books here, and we'll see what we got. Before I pull a book out, look at this. It's packing tape inside the box attached to the comic book bag. That is a huge no-no, and people that buy books hate when they have packing tape anywhere near their books because this is adheres to this plastic. I'm going to have to cut these books out of here probably. So yeah, let's uh, take a couple books out and see what we got. All right, so I'm into the books. Look at this. This is scotch tape. This is normal scotch tape. This is not magic tape. So this is just, these books, this bag is going to get ruined. I'm going to have to cut, I'm going to have to cut this out of here because this stuff mm, is impossible. That's, you might as well use packing tape if you're going to use scotch tape. How long have these people been shipping books? What, two months? All right, so I got the first book out. You can see how it's been sh shifting around during shipping. See the color rub here? And, um, but other than that, though, it looks like a 9.6. I don't think it's going to be able to get a 9.8 because I'm guessing when I turn this book over, there's going to be some color rub back there. Um, book's dirty, but that's pretty common. You know, this color rub from other books, probably before it even got, or while it was getting sent to my comic shop. But yeah, but oh yeah, you can see the staples pushed in. It's got quite a bit of color rub, it may not show up here. Uh, but it's definitely got color rub right along there, and you can see it on the backing board. And along here as well. Yeah, there's some slight color rub. You can see it down here. So this book is never going to be a 9.8. This is a 9.6 capped. Although it's not as bad as I thought it would be, the corners actually look good. You know, there's only one slight spine tick up here, and that I'm not really worried about that. That's You're going to get that on new books. But this color rub, because of the poor packaging and the books moving around too much, yeah, this has no longer got a chance at a 9.8 because of that. May not seem like a big deal, but, you know, it is kind of a big deal. If they just ship properly, I probably have a 9.8 candidate book right here. You know, I'm just guessing all the other books are the same thing, you know. Um, I mean, I don't really see any point getting all of them out and going through this already frustrated enough. I'm going to go through them all, and if they're all like this with color rub because of bad shipping, I'm going to send them back. I'm not going to put up with this. Yeah, I, I think I'm done with my comic shop. I'm, I'm going to cancel any orders that I have in. I'm not sure if I have any, and uh, I'm just not going to do business with them anymore. If you're from my comic shop and you're watching this, it's okay. You can improve. If you want to know how to ship a book,
I just got some in from Stadium Comics. You should order a few books from them. Watch how they package books. It's like overkill packaging. The books all arrived pristine. Like, I'm talking about 9.8s. Of course, the normal manufacturing defects are probably a couple 9.6s out of 10. But there was no shipping damage. In fact, I don't think there's any chance. You could have used this dang box as a as a soccer ball, and it probably wouldn't have damaged those books. So yeah, order some from Stadium Comics, see how it's done right, and please improve, because I'm the, I haven't been doing this that long. I don't even know if my comic shop is a huge distributor of comics, but you got to work on your shipping. This is insanity. This is two in a row. You've just destroyed the books. Maybe not destroyed them, but you've destroyed a chance at a 9.8 on this book, and the last two books, Mark Jewelers, were just... Watch the video. It was They're just beyond repair back to the way they were when they should have been shipped properly in the first place. And don't use UPS! So sorry for the negativity in this video. I'm not trying to be that. I'm a pretty positive person. But yeah, I kind of just a cautionary tale. My comic shop, unless they improve their shipping, man, I just cannot recommend using them. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again.